tornadoes were reported in five states. At least three people were killed, two in Illinois and one in Missouri. Especially awful when you see the looks and the horror on the faces of the individuals who live inside these homes and they have nothing left. We met one family who came back. Everything inside their house was destroyed and the only thing remaining was their pit bull dog. I have to tell you the other thing about this is just how many people this tornado, this one tornado uh, affected. There are 500 families whose homes were impacted here. That's a quarter of the town of Naplate. Antarctica's northern tip reached a verified high of 63.5 degrees Fahrenheit in March 2015. That broke the old record of 59 degrees Fahrenheit. That was set in January of 1974. Antarctica was so warm on that day, it was hotter than some American cities. The high in Denver on March 24, 2015, 60 degrees. In Virginia Beach, it was only 47 degrees. The global record high of 134 degrees Fahrenheit set in California in 1913 is still standing. Many people in the Midwest are waking up to extensive damage from dozens of tornadoes. Rain flooded roads and strong winds and sent debris flying. The dangerous gusts flattened buildings and toppled trees. More than a dozen people were hurt. At least 29 possible tornadoes were reported in Kansas, Illinois, Iowa, and Missouri. Its role as Britain's paramount political and financial center. It's here, down at ground level, that people pay the price. A King's College study found more than 9,000 people in London die prematurely every year due to air pollution. According to Client Earth, an environmental lobby group, London's air often breaches international law. Told seven people had to be rescued this afternoon because of the heavy flooding. Fortunately, everyone is okay, but it did make for some scary moments. Firefighters say several cars got stranded in floodwaters on South Kihei Road, and four people were found stranded on a bridge. One woman also called for help, saying she was about to be swept away in her car. Fortunately, Good Samaritans helped to get her to a safe place. A Kihei resident we spoke with says all of the rain from the mountains triggered a flash flood behind her home. Oh, you can see some of these images that have been coming in from Madagascar. Very intense wind, very intense rain. It has come ashore, making its official landfall around 11 a.m. local time on Tuesday. So that's local time there. Now, it turned out that this thing really overachieved. It was the island's strongest landfall in 13 years. 145 mile per hour sustained winds at the time of landfall, equal to a cat four. You can see the winds have come down a bit, but it's the rain that still is the huge concern, especially for where it is striking across northeastern Madagascar. State of emergency in 22 counties last night. The fires have killed at least six people and scorched more than a million acres. They are burning in parts of Texas, Kansas, in part, parts of Texas, Kansas, Colorado, and Oklahoma, four states there. The massive fire has scorched more than 700,000 acres along the Oklahoma-Kansas border. Traditional ground fighting tactics are failing, says Drew Daly with the Oklahoma Forestry Service. Power this morning after deadly storms ripped through part of the country. There 80 mile an hour winds toppled trees in upstate New York. Schools in the region are closed today. In the Midwest, more than 60 mile an hour gusts tore roofs from buildings and knocked over trees.
landslides in Peru's capital, forcing the authorities to suspend school classes and shut down roads. Those in charge were caught unaware by the intensity and volume of the rain, as swollen rivers swept away all in their path. People living on the country's northern coast are used to downpours during rainy season. But rainfall has been ten times the normal volume and it's heading rapidly south. As guides to tell them just how deep the water is. It's been raining heavily for days. Shops and homes are flooded and the water is not receding fast enough. A nice, some trucks, the heavy trucks to help us on the accessing some of the road. This school, along with 65 others, has been shut, leaving up to 6,000 children at home. A local governor says the floods are the worst the Omasati region has experienced in years. Parts of the central United States are bracing for more severe weather following a string of violent thunderstorms. A camera ca captured hail yesterday cracking a car window. The powerful storm hammered parts of North Texas and Oklahoma. In some places, people reported hail larger than baseballs. Radar shows the storm sweeping across the southern plains. An unstoppable menace rising from rivers, inundating homes and isolating communities. Rescuers put in danger, saving people ignoring the if it's flooded forget it message. Bridges obliterated, roads ripped apart and the region's dams roar to life. Evacuated from the danger zone, residents return to begin the messy cleanup. And a Yattle a favourite, cut off from those in need of comfort food.